Hi and welcome back. So let's talk about VTest. As I was preparing the stack for my next course that will be on testing React components, I was looking for test runners. Actually, I was looking for the simplest way to set up these small applications that I'm going to walk you through in the course. And of course, I reach for something that I've been using for years now, that is Jest. So Jest is a testing framework. It has been around for like forever. And it's probably one of, if not the most massively adopted testing frameworks. And so I naturally started with this TypeScript template in Vite, which is my go-to framework for setting up new React applications these days. And I called myself adding a Babel config to this application. And I was like, hold on, there, is it, is it still the best way to, to do this? And I actually asked you on Twitter and people pointed me to Vitas that has been around also for some years. So apparently I've been living under a rock or something, but I gave Vitas a try and it blew my mind completely. I guess if I would have to summarize in one sentence why Vitas is so good compared to Jest, it is that you don't need a PhD to configure all these things. You just use the existing Vite configuration file, add there a bunch of stuff. Actually, it's not even a bunch of stuff, like uh, three or four lines. And then that's it. Your tests are working. So in this video, I will give you like a Voltro of setting up a new Vtest project inside a completely new Vit project. You might have existing Vit projects. That's fine. The workflow will be pretty much the same. Okay, so let's get started by creating a new Vit project. So I usually do that with this uh, Vit command. So I type npm create Vit at latest and I give my project a name, for example, Vit as demo one. And then if you type dash 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 template, you can specify a template name. So I usually use the React TS template. That's a React template with TypeScript. Okay, so once this is done, you can jump into this folder. Vitest demo one. Actually, that's how the folder is called. Hit npm i, wait a couple of seconds. And after that, hit npm run dev. We will get a URL here. You can copy this, paste into your browser. And cool. Here is our Vit app running using TypeScript and React. Okay, so how we add tests to this. Let's also open this in uh, the editor. We are going to need a test. So let's head over to Vtest and click on this get started. So this will give you the only command that you need to get started here. So let's use this. Let me go to the same folder and install the vtest as a development dependency. And after this is done, if you scroll down here, you can actually take this kind of example test and create a new file. So some dot, let's make it actually ts because we are working with a TypeScript project. So give here a number, B should be also a number. Okay, you can save this and create another file, sum.test.ts, and copy the contents of this, paste it here, and also go back to your package JSON and under script, add here test with test. You saw that Copilot was really smart about that. If everything is set up correctly, I should be able to do npm run test. So I should have a test passing here. This is basically all the setup you need to have in order to run a simple test inside a V project using Vtest. But okay, this is not actually useful to us because we have some React components here like this app.tsx. So it would be nice to have some tests for this app component as well. What we are going to do is inside this guide, you will see somewhere a template. Actually, it's called examples. So there are a bunch of examples 
that show you how you set up vtest for different frameworks. What we are looking for is React testing lib because testing lib is awesome and we would like to use that. So open that project on GitHub. Quit the test runner, you can hit Q, go to the source folder and just take this app.tsx file. You can copy the raw file, create a new file inside the same folder, call it app test tsx, open the file and paste the contents. Now you will get a bunch of TypeScript and EST errors and everything will be failing and all that, but it's not going to last forever. So let's fix these type errors. Go back to the root folder of React testing lib and open package.json. Do the same thing inside your application. So package JSON, and you will immediately see that we don't have testing library dependencies added. So let's fix that and type npm i minus d that will put these dependencies into dev dependencies, which is the place where they should be. And just copy all these and add them to your command. Okay, we have React, we don't need that. React DOM, that's also there, JS DOM. That's also one that we have to copy over JS DOM. I think that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hit enter. All right. So after this is installed, let's switch back to the main folder. We will have to make one more modification to the tsconfig.json file. So close package.json and open tsconfig.json. What we are missing here is line 10 that says types vtest slash globals. So let's just add a new line here. You can leave here a comment like needed for vtest. After this, just paste these types that you just copied. Okay, so the next thing we are missing is this file. We don't have that in the include, but we don't have this file like at all. So let's open your source folder and create here a folder called test and inside this test folder create another file setup.test now inside this template project open the same file setup.test and just copy the contents this import is the thing that actually enables you to do all these Sessions like to be in the document or to be visible, whatever testing library JS DOM provides you. So we absolutely need that. And as you can see, these aren't failing anymore. So we made some progress, but we also have to include this file in include. So after include, add SRC, test, setup. .ds. All right, after this, you can give this a shot. So type npm run test or just npm test, and you will immediately see if we have some errors. Okay, so this didn't work. That is because the test file that I copied over from this repo uses some utils. So actually, let's not use that pattern at all. Just import render and screen from testing library React and also import user event from testing library user event. Save the file and run the tests again. Okay, so we see here one more error and that is describe is not defined. And that's because we forgot one of the most important steps. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, I told you that Vitas doesn't require you to add any new configuration files. Every configuration step is happening inside the vitconfig.ts. So we completely miss that part. So let's just copy from the template and add it here. And also make sure to add these triple slash directives at the beginning of the file, same as in the template. So the tests are still failing, but this is not because of our setup, but because the app.tsx in this template repo is a little bit different from what the React DS template gave us. So as you can see here, we have hello with plus React and an exclamation mark, while in our application, we only have feed plus React. So let's tweak this test just a little bit and remove the stuff that we don't need. So this should say with plus React. Yeah, no need for the exclamation mark. 
And after this change, we should already have one more passing test. And also the count is doesn't have a colon. So that's also passing. And I don't think we have this banner in add.tsx. Yes, we don't. So we can just remove this last test altogether. Hit save and all tests are passing. And with this, you just created your first tests that are doing some actual interaction with the component using testing library and vtest. Let me know in the comments, which is your favorite testing framework if you have heard about vtest or this is the first time, or maybe you prefer Jest and some other tools. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.